hi guys welcome back so now that we have completed classification and we have known about what a regression is what classification is, and how regression is different from classification and vice versa now we are going to start with clustering we are going to learn about what we mean by clustering how it is different from our classification algorithm and what are the different kinds of uh, approaches by which we can create out cluster and after that we are going to learn about a particular algorithm which will help us create clusters now let me tell you what we mean what we say clustering uh, getting back to our uh, classification algorithm let's say you are someone who has vi just uh, visited a park and in that park you have seen that there are like five six types of flower okay you have a rose you have a marigold uh, marigold okay so you have different you have tulips okay so you have different kinds of flowers and to classify each of those flowers it's uh, in different groups that is what we known as classification for example we have uh, some roses okay we have this so this is a rose and let's say uh, we have tulips Okay, let's say this is tulips so you can i uh, say that this is tulips so this is basically what we mean by class, uh, classification okay that is we are classifying different flowers depending upon what they are now let's say you have reached to a point where you get some uh, fancy new flowers okay let's say this is a new kind of flower which you eventually don't know what this flower is but you have seen that these flowers are in this area, this area, this area, and then you are able to uh, tell that these are all the same flowers. Okay, all of these, okay, all of these flowers are the same. They are in different areas and they are the same flower, but you don't know what kind, uh, which flower it is. But basically, you can whenever you see that kind of flower, you can say that this is the flower which I have been seeing all around the park, but I don't know. So basically, what you are doing over here. You are identifying groups of similar looking object. This is what we known as clustering. It is a task of identifying similar in instances and assigning them to clusters or group of similar instances. Okay. That is basically what we mean by clusters. We don't eventually have labels as this is an unsupervised learning. We just get the patterns. We identify that these might belong to the same group. Uh, just like classification, each instance get assigned to a group. However, unlike classification, clustering is an unsupervised algorithm. Okay, so we don't have the labels and we only identify. Okay. We identify the similar looking uh, uh, instances that are around us. So Again, clustering is the task of dividing the population of data points and then get out clusters out of it. You plot out all the data you get out from all your data. You try to get out groups. Okay. Now, there are various applications of clustering. One of the most famous ones might be uh, customer segmentation. So, we have customer segmentation. So, this is one of the leading applications of clustering. What basically we do is, let's say you are working in Amazon or Flipkart or any other. So you have been a give, you have been given a task to clusters, uh, similar kind of customers to each other. So that's where you can use your uh, clustering algorithm. Next is you can use it for data analysis. That's again one of the uh, famous use cases. Okay, before uh, if you have given some data and you have been given a task to uh, do uh, get some insights from it. So what you can do is you can divide the data into different clusters and then you can pay uh, more attention on different cluster based on different clusters. Okay, then you might use it on uh, your dimension reduction techniques okay, to decrease dimensionality. So probably in PCA or LDA. These are few techniques that we are going to learn in the next session then uh, we might have our anomaly detection you can use it for anomaly detection these are only few of the applications that i have given up 
so you can just get out how important our clustering algorithm is now let's look into the different kinds of uh, clustering we are having so we have basically four kinds we have centroid based density based distribution based and hierarchical based now going through each and every uh, clustering uh, technique deeply is not quite possible and it might take a separate course for itself so we are going to uh, learn or at least see into what we mean by these uh, the different kind of clustering and then we are going to learn about us uh, specific algorithm okay so let's start with density based clustering so density based based cl clustering connects area of high example density into clusters it's quite simple right wherever you have high density it will just take around uh, it as a cluster these allows for arbitrary shape distribution as as well so uh, you see that we don't have only circular over here we don't actually have only circular clusters over here, but we have clusters which are like are very shape distributed. Okay, as long as they are uh, in dense areas which can be connected out. Okay, these algorithms uh, mostly have difficulty of uh, when we have varying density. Okay, with very much high dimension. So these are something again we in this algorithm density based clustering approaches we don't actually uh, go for the outliers what we have so you see over here all these points this point this point this point all of these points are outliers and we don't count them out okay so that's about density based clustering then we have distribution based clustering uh this is basically based on the how your data has been distributed okay this clustering approach assume assumes that uh data is composed of some sort of distribution probably your gaussian distribution in this figure you can actually see that the, the distribution is based on the Gaussian uh, distribution as the distance from the distribution centers okay as the distance from the distribution center increases the probability that a point belongs to that distribution decreases okay so that's why we have this uh, different color schemes okay whichever points are in near nearest to the centers so those are like having the maximum probability that those guys belongs to this clusters and whichever is the furthest it will uh, having less probability okay the next one that we can look up to is hierarchical clustering it creates a tree of clusters okay so it is actually uh, suited for what we know as taxonomies okay that is hierarchical data so mm, it, we have one simple example in advantage in this is that any number of clusters can be chosen by cutting the tree at the right level so when we uh, actually move into the centroid part we will uh, we will get to know that why choosing the number of clusters is an important task but as for an advantage of high clustering we have this thing that we uh, that any number of clusters can be chosen just by cutting off the trees at the right level so that's about HCA, that is hierarchical cluster analysis. Let's move into the last one, that is centroid based cluster. And to be very precise, we are going to focus more on this one. Okay. So centroid based clustering, what it does is it organizes the data into non hierarchical clusters. Okay. So if you just uh, refer it out with hierarchical clusters, uh, we have this algorithm. K means uh, clustering. Okay, what we have to do over here is we have to uh, get the number of, uh, we have to uh, assign some numbers of clusters, the number of clusters that we need. And depending upon that, the centroid based clustering, what they will do is depending upon the clusters, okay, the centroids that we have and the points that are nearby of it, okay, it will uh, account all of those as a single cluster. Okay, centroid based algorithms are very much efficient, but it is like uh, sensitive to initial conditions and outliers. If you have outliers, then it will just, it might carry out as a very different clusters and it might occur out some problems over there. Okay, as for this courses, we focus more on K-means cluster, which is very efficient, effective and a very simple iterative algorithm. Okay, so that's it about... Uh, are clustering what is clustering how it is different from classification and 
basically what are the different techniques of clustering now we are going to learn about centroid based clustering that is we are going to learn about the algorithm which we uh, known which is known as k means clustering okay we have this k means clustering so let's jump into our next video where we are going to start with k means clustering and how it eventually works